I got quite a number of questions. You guys, hmm. Okay. See. Hey guys, it's your girl Wee Screen back again with another video. If this is your first time on my channel, thank you so much for joining. Please consider subscribing below and ensure you turn the post notification bell on. And if you're a returning subscriber, you know the vibes, please give this video a thumbs up. No hesitate to leave a comment below and don't forget to share with your friends as well, period. Anyway, as you can see from the title in today's video, we are doing a fun video today. It's not just me sitting down here talking to you about finance, make money, do this, do that. It's me talking about myself to you guys not really me talking about myself but me answering all of you guys' questions so i made a post on instagram and on youtube asking you guys to send me fun q a questions because it's been a hot minute since we had one i got quite a number of questions as you can see like it's a lot so i'll be answering i hope i'm able to cover most of the questions if not, maybe then I'll respond to the comments on YouTube or on Instagram to answer the questions. Before we jump into this video, we are on the road to 20k subscribers. Anyway, I'm more than excited for 16,000 plus of you guys. Wow! It's been an incredible journey so far. I'm really, really appreciative and thankful of every one of you. If you are still watching my videos and you're yet to subscribe, please consider subscribing right now before you forget it's completely free and it helps my channel grow and gain visibility so thank you very much as you'll be doing so so without further ado let's jump into this video because i've got quite a, long, a number of questions so if you see me looking down just looking through the questions okay i'll put the question on screen here and i'll also read them if i can so the first question i have is what's the dating scene like in canada um, to be honest, I only know about my city. It's a very small city in the whole of Can, like compared to the whole of Canada. But I would say it's really challenging. I don't think it's impossible for you to find your future partner or your future spouse here. It's just very challenging. You just have to be deliberate and intentional about it. If you have a partner or you're seeing someone from before you move here, I would recommend you stick to that person or you hold on to them, except for some personal reason that you would prefer. The next question is how would your friends describe you? Hmm. I don't know if it's like in a sentence or in a word. I would say my friend would describe my friends would describe me as a supportive friend. I hope so, but I think that's how they would describe me because I'm very supportive of everyone around me, you know? The next question is how do you make new female friends in turn or okay, I'm guessing this person is a newcomer or maybe you're having challenges finding new friends or you specifically mentioned female friends i would say one you can use social media for sure i've met quite a number of people from social media like instagram twitter just connect with them you can send a message send a dm and be open-minded because some people would ignore you it's okay okay it's fine but just try to shoot your friendship shot at people it's not just when you're trying to look for a boyfriend or a girlfriend you shoot shots you shoot friendship shots at people as well if you would like to be friends with them so just reach out to people and try to just let them know hey i'm just trying to make new friends what are your hobbies or like just try to interact with people like initiate it it's okay to make the first move and if you're not getting the kind of energy that you want you can like, just let them be but also just try to read the vibe before even sending that person a message maybe you guys are already friends on the timeline like you comment on their pictures on their post and you guys have a little bit of interaction then when you send them that dm i'm sure they'll respond otherwise um it's you can also meet friends. most of my female friends i met them through other friends so maybe you go out like for house party game night you meet people there then you interact and if you like their vibe you exchange your contacts exchange social media but those are the two ways i've make friends i've been able to make friends in canada and it has really really worked for me and a number of people friendship is really really hard like when you're an adult it's so hard to make friends i know not a lot of people talk about that anyway the next question is are you engaged obviously not another question is what's your name okay this is actually interesting my name is bisola bisola it's a yoruba name meaning born into wealth ah i'm about to make that money you know maybe just maybe like my parents were seeing into the future because i'm about to be a multi-billionaire 
I can't wait. So I'm looking forward to that day when I'll be like, oh my gosh, guys, I'm retired. I'm no longer working. I'm just spending my money going on vacation, traveling, living my best life. I'm looking forward to that year. God, when? I beg. I'm tired of this hard work life. Anyway, the next question is what makes you happy? Wow, this is actually a very deep question. What makes you happy? <laughs> I would say, like, I'm generally a happy person, but like the thing that I would say would make me smile or happy is when I see that everyone around me is in a good place, my family, my parents, my friends, everyone just has something going on for them and it's going really fine. I really like that and I also like that if I feel like I'm at peace with myself internally, that makes me happy. I also like going out, I like adventure, that adventure actually makes me happy as well. So a lot of things actually make me happy, so if, I, if I'm looking forward to maybe doing something this weekend and I'm excited for the weekend to come because I'm looking forward to it or maybe if I'm going on a trip. So like a lot of things actually make me happy. Okay, the next question is... You have decided to stop posting on Ireland. We miss you. This is actually not a question. Yes, it's been a hot minute since I posted on Ireland. I can't wait. Yeah, I think I should go and update my Ireland diary. I have so much updates. Would you consider long distance relationship? Mm. The only times I've been in long distance relationship was probably when I was in uni or something. But I don't really think it's for me to be honest. Because I just like to have my person around and long distance relationships would make it very challenging. And I don't know if I have that much <sighs> Oh my god, it's just very it requires a lot of effort and commitment and I don't know if I can. Right now I don't think I can. What's your zodiac sign, birth date and favorite color? My zodiac sign is Sagittarius. My birthday is December 6th and my favorite color right now it's mustard yellow my co my favorite color changes after a couple of years i don't know but it's like since the past couple of years it's been mustard yellow next question what is a good salary annual in toronto and what's the average salary for professionals in the city wow this question is actually really deep because i don't have the analysis in my head or the numbers but I would say a good annual salary would be $80,000 a year. But that's not to say people less than any less than 50k, 60k are not staying in the city. But I would say if you have 80k a year, then you are going to be fine. It's a good, it's 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 a good amount. Um, the average salary for professionals, I would probably think it's about 50k or 60k because a lot of jobs are like underpaying people right now. But yeah, that's just my own personal take. Please be careful. You can do your own personal research as well. Would you date or marry other nationalities other than Nigerian? I actually will because I've considered going on or I've gone on dates with people from other backgrounds. It just didn't end into a relationship. But I'm definitely open to ending up with people. Someone from maybe any other culture, any other background. As long as they're also open-minded to embracing my culture as well. I don't mind. It's actually going to be fun. Do you school and work? No, baby. I'm working. I'm like tired of this adulting life, but that's where I am right now. I'm done with school. I should probably go back to school maybe for masters or something. I like the idea of it. I like the idea of studying. Like recently, I enrolled for one online program to learn um, finance and capital market. That's actually my fault, but I wanted to learn some new things and just understand compounding interest, calculations, and all those things. I remember being taught all those things, but I actually cannot understand. I didn't understand back there. It couldn't make sense to me. But now I'm able to make sense of mortgage interest, calculations, and all those things. And I just wish I could go back to school to learn them, but. I'm all about the bag right now. I'm not going back to school. Nope. The next question. Okay, I think I've covered most of the questions from Instagram. Uh, let's see. Okay, sorry. I, I still have three more. So another one says, what's your favorite thing to do? Um, I like adventure, like I mentioned earlier. I like exploring new things, adventure, and I like travel. But I don't get to do like those things as much because it's very cold here. For you to do all those things, you are either open to traveling outside of Canada or you are willing to deal with the cold. But so far, I've been able to do a lot of fun things. I have a lot of vlogs. You can check them out on my channel. Another question is, describe yourself in three words. Okay, I would say I'm confident. 
I'm energetic for sure. I know that. And and hmm, I don't know. Maybe sometimes I could be annoying. I know I could be annoying sometimes. But I could be sweet, annoying, like not annoying in a very frustrating way, but annoying in a sweet way, like you know, in that cute way. Sha. I know my friends, they know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so another question. I think I've covered most of the questions on Instagram, so let's go to the ones on YouTube. Where was your first job in Canada and how long was the distance you used to commute from your house to work? The distance was about one hour. My first job was with DHL Canada. I was working in customer service. What advice can you give to someone who is looking for accommodation in Canada but not yet employed? I would definitely recommend. First things first, you don't want to be spending all of your money on an apartment if you don't have a job. So consider basements, consider, consider shared apartments, maybe shared rooms like you get a big house and you share with other people or you share, get a room in a house where there are other people that's a very good way to start then later on you can get your own apartment should we continue to stay in airbnb or short-term rental um yeah i don't airbnb might be expensive but you can check on kijiji or facebook marketplace and compare the prices with what you are paying for airbnb right now your glow up is the best ever from your travel vlog wow thank you very much that's so sweet mm -mm -mm. So lots of love another question here is would you be applying for citizenship soon i would be eligible for citizenship at some point this year later on this year so i'm really excited for it because baby i'm about to go on plenty of trips once i get my canadian citizenship i definitely can't wait it's not like i can't travel right now but i just feel like if i have my citizenship it would be a lot easier for me to know bring out my blue passport oh my gosh where are we going to today italy where are we going to tomorrow paris where are we going to next tomorrow portugal anyway yeah i can't wait for that i look forward to it are you a christian yes i identify as a christian but i'm not like a christian christian i'm hoping my spiritual life gets better but i'm really just hoping like that's one of my goals this year to improve my spiritual life god help me fingers crossed the next question is would you consider moving to another province oh actually moving to another province i've thought of it i thought of it actually as a lot last year than now especially considering the housing price in toronto in ontario generally it's very very expensive like it's going up at a very very ridiculous rate and it's so hard to compete especially if you're not like a huge investor you don't have daddy money or trust funds and all those things so it's kind of very difficult but i've considered moving to another province but right now i just feel like my friends my life is kind of settled here um so right now i don't think i will but i'm definitely open to the idea i'm not totally against it if i get a good job in another province i will and one province on my head that i always think about more often than not is alberta i think i'll be able to live there because the nigerian community and african community there is very strong um i don't know and housing there is very affordable as well but i don't know let's see how our time goes let's see let's see how it goes let's see i don't know another question i have here which is very interesting is how easy was it to make genuine friends and would you have friends other than nigerians i do have a couple of friends that are indians specifically indians i met them from my first job in canada and they are really really sweet people like sometimes we talk and i'm like oh my gosh i can't wait to see you again i miss you so much which you actually plan hang out it's just that people are spread across the whole city some people are like all the way in brampton someone else is in windsor like it's all over canada and it's almost hard to plan a way to meet up so i have friends that are non-nigerians and i really love them so much i would wish or i would love to make friends with people from other backgrounds it's just that right now i don't get to meet people as much because of covid you're working from home so that's not really the case but i like i'm open to it for sure how easy was it to make genuine friends um i would say the truth about making friendship is that you just need to get to know people first then at, after a while if they are not good people it would show because like character is like smoke i'm beginning to sound like 
aspire to aspire now <laughs> the character is like a smoke like if they have bad attitude it's only a matter of time before it comes out you would see it and also you need to be deliberate about the kind of friendship you pick know the kind of energy you want around you be intentional friendship is just like relationships you don't just pick people here and there i'm open to being friends with anybody as long as it's just friends with vibe and having fun but when it comes to like friends that really mean so much to me dearly to me i don't just allow anybody into my space so yeah that's it but like it's very hard to make genuine friends generally it's just that you have to just keep trying just the same way you don't stop when you're looking for a boyfriend or a girlfriend it's the same way you continue to try and put in effort to make friends i'm not an expert in relationship issues or friendship but that's just my own personal thoughts i'm just trying to see if i've not missed out any questions first of all i love you oh i love you too thank you very much you said you wanted to transition what job did you transition into i'm guessing this person read my Netherlands post and all so they kind of have some knowledge about my experiences so yes my uh, my current yeah i was able to transition from like being an accountant and all that to business analysis which is more in the tech field um i enjoy what i do right now and it's so much fun i've learned a lot it's, it was very challenging for me at first but i like what i do like i enjoy i really do enjoy it so yeah that's what i do that's what i transition into yeah i think i covered most of the questions if you guys do uh, did enjoy this video please smash the like button if i missed out on your questions please i'm very very sorry it wasn't deliberate and you can still leave your question in the comment section i would respond to you there thank you very much if you enjoy watching this video again please smash the like button subscribe below and turn the post notification bell on don't forget to share this video with your friends and your loved ones i will see you guys in my next video in the meantime Stay confident. Bye guys!